Russia. Go home now. With profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated, enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part two of four. Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas ofrecen plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Unsere Sendungen bieten viele Sprachen. Gehen Sie auf suprememastertv.com schrägstrich schedule. True, there is for thee, by day prolonged occupation with ordinary duties. But keep in remembrance the name of thy Lord and devote thyself. To him wholeheartedly. Please continue watching to hear more from the Holy Quran. Vegan, do it for the children. When draining the blood of an innocent being, listen to that voice deep down inside telling you that this is fundamentally wrong. And avoid, let go of the condition knee-jerk excuses that seek to justify such a heinous act of violence. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Assalamu alaikum, which means peace be with you in Arabic, is a traditional greeting in Palestine I am Fatima. The harmonious Palestinians are grateful for Allah's abundant love for all. We pray that everyone will soon become compassionate vegans for peace to reign in every corner of our beautiful planet. Think of your children, grandchildren. What kind of inheritance? The world with burning heat, with war and violence? Please stop in your tracks now. Make peace. Be vegan. For the sake of all your children. Welcome to from the Holy Quran, Surah 73 and 74, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, vegetarian, was born in approximately A.D. 570 in Mecca, in a region that is now known as Saudi Arabia. As a young adult trained in the merchant trade, he was known for his honesty and trustworthiness. At about age 40, he retired to a cave in the mountains and engaged in deep meditation. During this period, he received the first of many divine messages from Allah through the Archangel Gabriel. The record of these spiritual revelations, which spanned more than 23 years, is now considered the central and highly respected book of Islam, the Holy Quran. The gentle Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a beloved master who led by his own shining example. 
His noble teachings live on in the hearts of people today, inspiring them toward a peaceful path to find the Most High. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan has spoken on many occasions of the spiritual greatness we see through the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In a lecture given in 1999 in Istanbul, Turkey, she also pays tribute to the Prophet, peace be upon him, for his ultimately unifying nature as a messenger of God. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came to show an example. Like, okay, you have to steal your mind, you sit quiet alone, don't have to go in the cave, but in your small cave room and make it a cave, make it a complete recloser for yourself. And then you pray. Truly, God will hear and you will hear God. God always hears, just we don't hear. So now it's our problem to steal our mind, to discard all the, the, the nonsensical thinking all the time in the mind so that we can hear the voice of the messenger of God. Like the prophet, peace be upon him, did. He came to do that. He's a prophet, peace be upon him. He didn't have to do that, but he did that to make an example that to contact God, we have to steal the mind. Furthermore, in a conference with Supreme Master Television team members on September 15, 2014, Supreme Master Ching Hai expounds on the peaceful roots of Islam and sheds light on the true meaning of Islam. Islam actually means peace, yeah? And whenever the Islam yes, people, Muslim people, see each other, they always say, peace be upon you. Yes, Master. Salam alaikum. Right? Right, yes, Master. That means, peace be upon you. And when the Prophet, peace be upon him, was alive, he never encouraged war, he never encouraged killing. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was of peace reincarnate. Islam is peace symbolization. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Singapore is one of them. Singapore, Animals and Birds Act, amended 2014. The Act prohibits various forms of animal people cruelty, including beating, kicking, ill treatment, and abandonment. Animal folk caregivers' duties include giving sufficient and suitable food and water, providing adequate shelter, ensuring any confinement or physical handling of the animal individual does not cause unreasonable or unnecessary pain and suffering, safeguarding the animal person's health, including seeking of veterinary advice if needed. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Today, it is an honor to share with you excerpts from Surah 73 and 74 of the Holy Quran. Surah 73, Muzammil, or Folded in Garments. O thou folded in garments, stand to prayer by night, but not all night, half of it, or a little less, or a little more, and recite the Quran in slow, measured, rhythmic tones. Soon shall we send down to thee a weighty message. Truly, the rising by night is most potent for governing the soul and most suitable for framing the word of prayer and praise. True, there is for thee, by day, prolonged occupation with ordinary duties. But keep in remembrance the name of thy Lord and devote thyself to him wholeheartedly. He is Lord of the East and the West. There is no God but he. Take him, therefore, for thy disposer of affairs, and have patience with what they say, and leave them with noble dignity, and leave me alone to deal with those in possession of the good things of life, who yet deny the truth and bear with them for a little while. 
One day, the earth and the mountains will be in violent commotion, and the mountains will be as a heap of sand poured out and flowing down. We have sent to you, O men, an apostle, to be a witness concerning you, even as we sent an apostle to Pharaoh. But Pharaoh disobeyed the apostle, so we seized him with a heavy punishment. Then how shall ye, if ye deny God, guard yourselves? Whereon the sky will be cleft asunder. His promise needs must be accomplished. Verily, this is an admonition. Therefore, whoso will let him take a straight path to his Lord, thy Lord does know that thou stand forth to prayer nigh two thirds of the night, or half the night, or a third of the night, and so does a party of those with thee. But God does appoint night and day in due measure. He knows that ye are unable to keep count thereof, so He has turned to you in mercy. Read ye therefore of the Quran, as much as may be easy for you. He knows that there may be some among you in ill health, others traveling through the land seeking of God's bounty, yet others working in God's cause. Read ye. Therefore, as much of the Quran as may be easy for you, and establish regular prayer, and give regular charity, and loan to God a beautiful loan, and whatever good ye send forth for your souls, ye shall find it in God's presence. Yea, better and greater in reward. And seek ye the grace of God, for God is oft forgiving, most merciful. Surah seventy four. Mudathir, or one wrapped up. O thou wrapped up in a mantle, arise and deliver thy warning, and thy Lord do thou magnify, and thy garments keep free from stain, and all abominations shun, nor expect in giving any increase for thyself, but for thy Lord's cause, be patient and constant. Finally, when the trumpet is sounded, that will be that day, a day of distress, far from easy for those without faith. Leave me alone to deal with the creature whom I created, bare and alone. And we have set none but angels as guardians of the fire, and we have fixed their number only as a trial for unbelievers, in order that the people of the book may arrive at certainty. And the believers may increase in faith, and that no doubts may be left for the people of the book and the believers, and that those in whose hearts is a disease, and the unbelievers may say, "What symbol does God intend by this? Thus does God leave to stray whom He pleases, and guide whom He pleases, and none can know the forces of Thy Lord except He, and this is no other than a warning to mankind." Section two. Nay, verily, by the moon and by the night as it retreats, and by the dawn as it shines forth, this is but one of the mighty portents, a warning to mankind, to any of you that chooses to press forward or to follow behind. Every soul will be held in pledge for its deeds, except the companions of the right hand. They will be in gardens of delight. They will question each other and ask of the sinners. What led you into hellfire? They will say, "We were not of those who prayed, nor were we of those who fed the indigent, but we used to talk vanities with vain talkers, and we used to deny the day of judgment until there came to us the hour that is certain. Then will no intercession of any intercessors profit them? When what is the matter with them that they turn away from admonition?" As if they were affrighted donkeys fleeing from a lion, forsooth each one of them wants to be given scrolls of revelation spread out. By no means, but they fear not the hereafter. Nay, this surely is an admonition. Let any one who will keep it in remembrance, but none will keep it in remembrance except as God wills. He is the Lord of righteousness and the Lord of forgiveness.
Vegan Peace Lasting. Vegan Way to Thank God for All Creation. For more information, please visit Internet Sacred Text Archive, sacred-texts.com. I decided to become vegan after I saw the movie called Earthlings, which shows in details the cruelty animals go through to end up on your plate, become a piece of clothing, or even end up in a circus or a zoo. Georges Lorac, Vegan. Faithful viewers, thank you for being with us today for Words of Wisdom. Please join us again tomorrow for From the Holy Quran, Surah 75 and 76, Part 2 of 2. Coming up next is Man Eating Plants, How a Vegan Diet Can Save the World. Interview with Jonathan Spitz, Vegan, Part 1 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. May Allah always be with you and provide your spiritual path with the brightest light. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, how not reach. Russia, leave Ukraine or Ukraine now. Peace be with you too. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.